Hi. Have you tried to georeference a Google satellite image? If you find your work was time consuming and not accurate enough, this is the tutorial you are looking for. In this tutorial, we show you how to save a georeferenced Google satellite image in no time. This exercise requires Google WMS layers. If you do not know how to add them in QGIS, please follow this tutorial first. OK, let's begin. Create a new project in QGIS. In this tutorial, we use QGIS 3.12. Let's add the satellite image that you want to extract images from. In this exercise, we use Google Satellite Image. But you can use any other layer as you wish. Before moving further, let's check the coordinate system that is used in the project. You can see it bottom right hand corner. At the moment, we are using EPSG 3857 coordinate system. Let's say we want to geo reference our images in UTM zone 44 north. All what we have to do is changing the project coordinate system into UTM zone 44 north. To do that, go to project menu and select properties. Now, click on CRS tab. Type the name of desired coordinate system in the filter. This is the coordinate system that we are going to use in this exercise. Select it and click OK. We can see the project coordinate system is changed to UTM zone 44 north. We recommend you to plan your work ahead. It is not a must, but it helps you to make the process efficient. We need to decide the image resolution that we need in our product. I'm doing it in the most simple way. I'm sure you can figure out the rest as you are mastering this method. Don't worry, it's not rocket science. OK, back to the business. In this exercise, I'm going to fit 1000 meters wide land block into an A3 landscape paper. Let's make a grid which will fit with that requirement. Click on Processing menu. Select Toolbox. Expand Vector Creation Tools Collection. Double click on Create Grid Tool. Click on Parameters tab. We need our grid as ploy gons. Therefore, select Rectangle in the Grid Type drop down list. Now we need to set the area that we are going to extract. We have three options. 1. We can use the same extent that we have in the map at this moment. 2. We can demarcate the extent manually. 3. We can ask the software to get the extent from a layer that we have already added. You can try these options as you wish. We are going with option number 2. Zoom the area you need extract and draw a rectangle covering that area. OK. Next we need to set the dimensions of the grid. I'm setting horizontal space as 1000 meters. Remember, we decided this before. Vertical space is 800 meters. I'm going to keep the rest with default values. Feel free to play around leisurely. OK, let's hit run. Now we have a grid covering our area of interest. Each of these rectangle is assigned a unique number. To see them, open the attribute table of the grid layer. Right click on the grid layer and select open attribute table. You can find the unique values in the field ID. Select a row to highlight the corresponding rectangle. Now we need to make the grid invisible. Right click on grid layer and go to properties. Click on simple fill. Select no brush for fill style. Select no pen for stroke style. Click OK. Let's 
Let's create a layout. Click on Show Layout Manager button and create an empty layout. Give a name to layout. You can use any name as you wish. Right click on empty page and select page properties. Under item properties tab, select A3 for page size. Select landscape for orientation. Now press add map button and draw the map area in the page. Make sure it covers the entire page. You can find add map tool in the add item menu as well. Next, make layout window smaller enough to see the map canvas. We can close layout manager now. Open attribute table of grid layer and make it small enough to keep both layout window and attribute table side by side. Do not resize map canvas. Always keep it full screen. Get layout window back. Select a row to select a rectangle. By the way, don't make attribute table too small. We need to use zoom map to the selected rows tool. Click on zoom map to the selected rows tool. The map is zoomed to fit the selected rectangle to the screen. Now go to the layout window. In the item properties, click on this button to set map extent to match main canvas extent. Go to layout menu and select export as image. Browse to target folder where you want to save images. Give a name and click save. In the export options, we can set the export resolution. We are setting it to 300 dpi. Check on generate world file. It is very important. Now click save. It will take some time to save the image. That depends on the resolution you selected, page size, and speed of the internet connection. Once the image is exported, you'll get a notification. Let's export the second image. Go to the attribute table. Select the next rectangle you want to export the image. Click on zoom map to the selected rows tool. Go to layout window. Set the map extent to match main canvas extent. Export the image. Don't forget to check on Generate World File. You can repeat the process through entire grid. We are just exporting only three images for demonstration purpose. Let's add exported images to map window. Here they are. Let's overlay our grid over them. We need to make it visible again. We can access layer properties by double clicking on the layer or right click on the layer and selecting properties. Here it is.
Super simple, super easy, and 100% accurate. We hope this will be useful in your work. We upload short video tutorials time to time. If you are interested in following us, please subscribe our channel. Press bell icon to get instant notifications when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching.